here in Maui, where we have just learned that this is now the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. And we start tonight with violent storms in this summer, packed with extreme weather and excessive heat. We've got high winds, hurricane force gusts, our power went out. Uh, we keep hearing those explosions I've been telling you about. But we also have an area of downright hazardous air quality almost off of our scale here. It's not just very unhealthy, it's downright hazardous. Our world is at the crossroads and our planet is in the crosshairs. We are nearing the point of no return, of overshooting the internationally agreed limit of 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming. We are at the tip of a tipping point. Experts say we are on track to hit 1.5 degrees of global warming in the next 10 years. This is a crucial tipping point in climate change, and scientists say it will dramatically increase extreme flooding, wildfires, drought, dangerous heat, and food shortages. But what if your roof could stop all of that? <laughs> Reflective paints and roof materials have helped keep buildings cool for centuries. Today, we have the science to back it up. Governments around the world have implemented cool roof and green roof programs to protect urban neighborhoods from extreme heat. A cool roof is shorthand for a roof that has higher than normal solar reflectance. So a white roof uh, is one example of a cool roof. A green roof is shorthand for a vegetative roof. Now you're adding plants to the roof. And they work not so much by reflecting sunlight to stay cool, uh, but by evaporating water to stay cool. Dr. Ronan Levinson is a scientist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and has been studying cool roofs for years. Cool roofs are one of the heat island countermeasures that we use for not just cooling the outside air, but also saving energy in buildings or making buildings that don't have air conditioning uh, more comfortable and safer. Cool roofs can save you between 7 and 15 percent on energy costs and cut the heat released into your neighborhood by up to 85 percent, which means lower outside temperatures too. One study found that if cities implemented cool roofs, it could lower the outside temperature by 2 to 3 degrees Celsius during heat waves. Dr. Levinson helped develop the U.S. Cool Surfaces Deployment Plan with the goal of reducing urban heat islands. What we find is that cool roofs and walls seem to be concentrated in places like California, which has leading edge building codes, um, and in Arizona and Florida, which have a really strong driver to use them because they're hot. And so this whole project here is to try to accelerate the deployment of cool roofs and walls across the rest of the country with all sorts of fun benefits. The proposal aims to make homes more efficient and mitigate climate change with a range of solutions, including a competition to develop reflective asphalt shingles. We'd like to see a cool roof prize to move the market for asphalt shingle roofing in particular because of all of the types of roofing out there, it's the one that is most commonly used without many low-cost, high-performance options. This video is sponsored by Directory.com, the safest way to find a roofing contractor. The Directory app is free to use and all contractors and their jobs come with a $20,000 guarantee. Directory is a concierge service. They find and recommend contractors to use for home improvement and back them up with a $20,000 guarantee. In case a contractor takes your money and runs away, Directory will give you your money back or will finish the project if the contractor disappears and ghosts the project. Directory doesn't give bad recommendations, but in case of a dispute, you are covered with a $20,000 guarantee. Download the app now and hire your next contractor with peace of mind. According to Forbes, close to 90% of homes in the US have asphalt shingles. They are affordable, durable, and most people like the dark color options but traditional asphalt shingles have very low solar reflectivity, usually less than 10%. Tiles can do better, reflecting up to 79% of sunlight if you pick a bright color, and around 40% for high-performance reds and browns. They can cost double or more than asphalt shingles depending on the tile and the size of your roof. Metal roofs are the best option because they can bounce back up to 70% of solar rays, even in gray shades, but they are by far the most expensive costing two to three times more than asphalt on the low end and up to 10 times more for premium options. While some more reflective asphalt shingles are available, the darker shades only bounce back around 20% with lighter shades reflecting up to 40%.
they can cost anywhere from 10 to 100% more than traditional asphalt shingles, depending on performance. Dr. Levinson hopes that creating a cool roof competition could lead to better and more affordable options. Just making this up as uh, to illustrate it's not rigid in any way, but maybe you could say that the cool asphalt shingle when uh, clean, new and clean, should reflect at least 40% uh, of the sunlight, which would be better than the 25% for most cool asphalt shingles that are on the market today. Uh, it should cost no more than, I don't know, I'll make it up, uh, no more than 25 cents per square foot um, more than uh, an otherwise equivalent uh, product. And it should be available in a certain color range. Other parts of the Cool Services Deployment Plan include incentivizing cool roofs through zoning codes, rebates, and creating a public education campaign. Not everyone really understands the benefits of cool surfaces, and we often hear concerns that are easy to address. So, for example, when they hear that a cool roof will give you some annual energy cost savings, uh, they'll say, but doesn't the cool roof increase your need for heating in the winter? And then we explain that it's true, but we factored that in. So we considered every hour of the year when assessing what does a cool roof do for the building's energy use. Dr. Levinson and his team are in the process of presenting the Cool Surfaces Plan to the Department of Energy and other stakeholders with the hopes of getting funding to move it forward. But even if they succeed, can roofs actually stop us from reaching 1.5 or even 2 degrees of global warming? We asked Dr. Levinson what would happen if we could instantly paint all of the world's roofs white. We could probably buy ourselves a decade or two but it's only one of many things that are needed in order to uh, slow, stop, or reverse global warming. So I won't suggest that cool roofs and walls and maybe cool pavements by themselves uh, will solve the problem. They're just a helpful tool in our box. Cool roofs may not be able to stop climate change, but they can be an important adaptive strategy helping to reduce the dangerous effects of heat while conserving energy. And because of the lifespan of roofs, it will continue to be an important strategy for some time. One of the nice things about cool roofs and cool walls is that if you time it right, it's free. If you have a brand new roof and you decide that after you've just put in this black roof, you're going to try to coat it to make it white, that's not very cost effective. But if it's time to put on the roof for the first time, or it's time to replace your roof at the end of its, say, 20 year service life, well, if you can buy a white roof for the same price as a black roof, well, that's pretty much free. As for contractors, Dr. Levinson recommends going to coolroofs.org, where you can find more information and tips for talking to customers about cool roofs. Let us know what you think in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe.